Hi everyone, I'm Christina and I'm a Zero Waste Wannabe. This week is going to be a little bit different than other videos that I've done and it's going to be a little bit shorter. I just want to share with you a really cool DIY that I did not too long ago. I made my own face powder and blush out of three ingredients and bought all of these ingredients in bulk so it was completely zero waste um, zero waste makeup and a really fun DIY. So the three ingredients that I used are arrowroot powder, uh, cocoa powder, and beetroot powder. So the cocoa powder I was able to purchase from my grocery store from a bulk bin and the arrowroot, arrowroot powder and the beetroot powder I purchased from Refill Revolution. It is a zero waste bulk refill uh, shop, I think based out of Denver, I believe, I could be wrong. Um, but she offers um, refills in the mail as well, um, or bulk products in the mail. So you can either purchase these items in little glass containers, that's, that's how I purchased the beetroot powder, or in a compostable bag, which is how I got the arrowroot powder. Um, and then I just transferred it into my own mason jar. But it's a really great store. I encourage you to check it out if you're looking for raw materials um, for DIY projects. Um, you can pretty much make anything with the stuff that she's got. She even has refill um, essential oils, which is really cool. So there, there's a lot of stuff that you can do there. But just really easy, really easy DIYs were the face powder and the blush. Uh, like I said, it was literally just these three ingredients for both of those items. Um, so I started out with a base of the arrowroot powder and then just started adding in the beetroot powder and the cocoa powder until I reached the color that I wanted for both um, the face powder and the blush. And um, it, one thing that I will say is start out with less arrowroot powder than you think because, um, because it is white, it does um, absorb color I guess would be the right the right phrase there um, so but then you have to you end up having to add more beetroot powder and more cocoa powder than than you necessarily intended um, which I mean then you just end up with more powder um, but and then it'll last you longer um, but if you're only looking for a little bit then um, start out with less than you think that you then you will need but Seriously, that was it. I literally just sat with a jar in front of me and just added little spoonfuls of each of these three items until I got to the color that I wanted. And let me tell you, my face has improved dramatically um, with regards to like acne and, and whatnot. Um, unfortunately, I've decided, my skin's decided to break out a little bit, of course, the week that I want to make this video, but this is these are literally the, the first breakouts that I've had since I've been using these products um, over the last several weeks. So it's really been amazing how it was cheaper. I could make it at home in the exact color that I wanted, zero waste. And not only that, but it's also helped my skin. Um, and that's not something that I would have expected putting cocoa powder all over my face, but it really has and that's really, really cool. Um, I, I put them in little containers that I had from old products. One of them was an old deodorant jar, um, and then the other one was an old powder jar. Um, so yeah, really cool, really, really great options for you um, if you're running out of certain types of makeup and you just want to try it on your own. The next one that I'm going to try is making a lipstick um, uh, with the beetroot powder. Um, I think I only got like two ounces of beetroot powder and I have made face powder and blush with this and I still have this much left so I'm really excited to try a lot of other DIYs. So the next ones I'm going to do are a, um, a lipstick or a lip gloss uh, and then I'm also going to eventually probably try to make some eyeshadows and see how those go. Um, but yeah, really short video this week. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys. So. I will see you next week. Have a good week.